Hey everyone, Jared Gray here playing Human Fall Flat. Uh, this game was developed by No Breaks Games and published by Curve Digital. And it was made on the Unity engine. So we're going to jump in real quick and see how the game runs. So we're going to go to the first level. Uh, and this is just the easiest to explain most of the mechanics and get a general feel for the game. As you can see, the player starts out and they've just flopped to the, the ground just instantly. Um, that's because this game overall is a, it's a ragdoll physics based game. So you have a ragdoll character that you control. He's a bit wonky, but surprisingly has fairly good control or gives good control to the player. So you can get to where you need to be, do what you need to do, all of that type of stuff without too many worries, which is, in my opinion, fantastic because working with ragdolls within, um, of my game design track, it's definitely difficult it's not easy to do uh, so going through your controls are just you move around with the left and right stick and as you can see the the feet will move around as if he's stepping and it looks a little bit weird but this is because this animation is handled with inverse kinematics so essentially the engine will find the feet uh, figure out where they should be based on the player's velocity and the height and all of that type of stuff and it will try and account for that and make it hit the ground at the correct spot so that it looks like the player's walking what all of this is saying is that there's no animations for this done by an artist all of these animations are handled in the engine by programming and the engine itself so none of this was pre-rendered by an artist they didn't spend forever figuring out every possibility that you can do which gives it this uh, wonky feeling and allows the ragdolls to really shine through um, you can also control the hands and arms which is great for climbing onto stuff like this ledge right here you can just grab on and climb on up and do all of that so we're gonna run through this uh, the rest of this level real quick when you if you do play this game you can pick up these remotes which once I do grab it will explain some of the basic mechanics to you but this game lets you do your own thing, so you can just take the remote and throw it off. Um, as you see, the remote will fall down. It will actually respawn right behind you, because even though you can do what you want, it wants you to you know, learn the game if you need to. It, it really is a great game for not punishing players and letting them explore, which is fantastic. And as you see, I just jumped off, and you respawn almost instantly. It looks seamless. You respawn towards the top of the map and fall back down, uh, which really doesn't punish the player for exploring like if i wanted to run over here and say hey can i make this jump and it's like oh well i can't i don't die and you know have to restart the entire game and lose all of my progress or feel like i really lost that much to it it, it really helps the players explore um and not get as much anxiety for failing and i think that's fantastic for this type of game um Apologies if there is a frame rate issue with this running with the screen recorder. It can be a pain with my computer trying to handle both at the same time, but we're just going to keep trying to power through this. Um, we've got some buttons you can press, you know, boxes you can pick up, all of that type of stuff. Uh, and one thing I love about this game is there's a ton of area that you can just, you know, you can climb up onto. And even though this character looks like he doesn't have a lot of control, like it's hard to control, uh, once you start getting a feel for the controls, you can really get to just about anywhere if you set your mind to it and figure it out, uh, which I think is fantastic. I think it's great for this type of game. We didn't quite make that ledge, but, you know, that's okay. But just being able to run around and test all of this stuff is great. This game... Um, Clearly, it's a very clear, uh, not copy of, but it's very reminiscent of Gang Beast, which is another Steam game, or a Windows game, that is ragdolls, but that's fighting. This one's more about platforming, and, um, you know, sometimes it's working together more so. It's a puzzle platforming game in the lieu of Portal or even the Stanley Parabola, and it has a lot of the same feel as those two where they don't care as much about theming or narrative. Those two definitely have more theme and narrative to them, but at the same time, they're not worried about looking like the best games. They stay rather minimalistic, and they say, hey, let's focus 
on what we're trying to achieve here, which I personally think is great because I don't think every game needs to look like a movie. Uh, and I think cutscenes or any of that type of stuff, pre-rendered animations would completely detract from this type of game. Um, my only my only complaint with this game really is there just needs to be a little bit more content with it. Um, of course, there's some more levels. Uh, once we finish this one up, you'd be if you were playing, you'd be able to tell. There's a lot more levels where you have catapults, slingshots, all of that type of stuff, which is great to play around with. And with your friends, it is a fantastic time. But again, my only complaint is just I wish there was more content, which really isn't too much of a complaint. Considering this is a $10 game, you definitely get your money's worth. But if your only complaint is you need more content, then like it means you've made the developers have made a fantastic game. And in my opinion, that's absolutely correct. And I just have a blast playing this game. So thanks for playing. Thanks for checking this video out and hope you guys check out this game when you get the chance.